Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. You can't stand in the way of God's plan. The natural order. Are you... Are you blind? Let the rest. Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. Says what I'm doing. The forehead has been squat clean. What are you doing with that? Antigen compound completed. Please remove the capsule. Your fight for a survival is admirable, but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that we had hope as a species. Am I the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future, your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us. Our greatest creation.
surprises me. <clears throat> Holding onto your final breath, you claw your way along. You hold onto what was once your war. But now, belongs to the children. Be glad of the knowledge that your death will bring their birth. Listen. Can you hear it? It's coming. Say your prayers. Isaac. Now you just need to This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Life support system failure on medical. Hell was that? Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented in space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time.
continue to make the poison. Now get back to the chemistry lab. What are you going to do? Do it fast! Get out of here breathing! You're cutting out, Hammond. I'm gonna try to switch over. <sighs> Shit! I lost the signal. I'll continue scanning for his location. You have to get that compound mixed. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponics deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began to drink. The survivor called it the Leviathan. and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think... I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spurn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that, at least. <laughs> Perhaps now you will end. The work I have done, Musquin, will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to our with me. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the inevitable. That's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. Dr. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close to maximum capacity at the present time. All flora is healthy and thriving and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony, but the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there and I don't see what denying them our surplus will achieve. Initiated. Yeah. <gasps> 
Isaac. Good to see you in one piece. Don't take your helmet off. The hair's rotten. I gotta look at it. <coughs> it's huge. You won't believe it. Shut itself in food storage. Crew that was on this deck. I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. They're like poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Hammond! I thought you were dead. You need to get to cleaner air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right, there's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. That's the door to food storage. But I can't override the integrity lockdown. You have to destroy the pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on the Leviathan. I suppose I should be glad that Ham's alive, but I still don't trust him. I think he's hiding something about the marker.
enemies detected in the East Grove Chamber. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Dr. Elizabeth Cross, but she's not here. In fact, I can't find anyone. Just more of this organic shit Entering everywhere. Zero I'm going to check the mining deck. It's about the only place I haven't looked yet. Isaac. There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. Once the air's clean, you can get into food storage. Isaac, I've been reading these reports. The crew all began having mass hallucinations. And... Well, I just saw my brother on a security monitor. And that's just not possible. Isaac, where are you? Help me! Flushing all air vents. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Hydroponics log, this is Dr. Cross. 
It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Unknown antigen injected into the filtration system. Damn it. The poison wasn't strong enough. It's still alive. Get in there and kill it before it contaminates the entire ship. Entering zero gravity. rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off the ship. I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. Oh god. I don't know how much longer the door will hold. 